Hey, so welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be revisiting uh, D5 and its rendering capabilities, but I'm going to be doing it within uh, a modeling software. So for this tutorial, I've chosen Revit. Um, so I've got a little sort of upscaling, recyclable apartment building here, um, all modeled up for the moment. So what you want to do is once you've installed the plugin up here along the top, uh, you click on D5 render and start D5. So for the purpose of this tutorial, it does take about a minute or so to load up. Um, so I've loaded it up here. Um, so here it is, here's my model and um, it'll render it. So to just quickly recap as well from where we left off last time, D5 is great for applying textures and so what you can do here, it's good for exploring different things as well. So you go up to the top and press materials. And what we want to do is, because it's recycled building, we want to make it look a little bit more like it as well. So if we go to glass and look for sort of like a polycarbonate uh, look. So apply that to these windows here. And if we scroll down to grid. Like I mentioned in the last tutorial as well, if you want to do windows differently, you do have to separate them as layers um, in the actual model. So yeah, so just a quick little recap there about plain textures. So the thing that I wanted to show throughout this tutorial, so I'm not doubling up, is applying luminous to elements. So what you can do is you start adding lights into scenes and for the purpose of this tutorial what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply it to some objects so this portion here uh, is modeled up to be a garden bit so if you want to add some detailing to that <clears throat> what you can do is if you start placing objects in, you don't because you can rescale things quite easily as well. <clears throat> so place that there. And at the moment, it's sort of just like a like an ornament, a uh, little detail. So what you do is I'm just kind of quickly change the environment to make it dark. So you click on that, and up here there is the little eyedropper tool. So this is the tool that you want to select. So once you click on that, you can then add the, this is where you can edit the material for objects in um, better ways. So you can change its overall color, you know, it's sort of finish. But what I want to do here is click on emissive. So that then turns it into a light source. And you can change its intensity to be brighter. Um, you know, it's sort of to a sort of finishing temperature you want it to look like. But the big one is color. So what you can do is then you can then have it emissing a different shade of light here. So that then has now got, is now casting a light. And as you see, the, it remains casting light during the day. Um, so you do need to adjust it depending on like sort of the scene you're trying to set from the render. But if you're doing like that sort of nighttime, afternoon style render, um, and then having a light source on specific objects can really make it look a little bit sharper as well. So yeah, so that's how you apply Luminous and 
to objects for G5 rendering. Um, so back to the actual software itself. The joy with opening up this program uh, within a modeling software as well is you can do live updates. So for instance, if I wanted to remove the roof of my project, you go back to D5 and you go up, 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 up to the top, you'll see that there are currently two roofs here. And to be honest, I forgot about the second one that I was modeling up. So we'll ignore that for the moment. There yeah. So if we delete those two elements there, and if we go back to D5, you'll we'll see that they're still there. So what you need to do is you sync the model. So that'll provide a real-time update within the rendering software. And it does just take a little moment depending on sort of what program you using and if there's any attachments to it. So Oh. Aha! Yeah. So you see there that the update has happened. And it's done that live update. So any elements that you change in the rendering, so in the actual architectural program, can be updated for this rendering software. Um, and it doesn't change any of the elements that you've already sort of placed from assets within as well. So we've still got our luminous light there, and we've still got these polycarbon uh, window frames. So yeah, so that's the end of the tutorial for uh, D5 rendering um, and syncing it with Revit and also with creating light sources. Thank you, guys. I'll catch you next time. Don't just sit there. Hit like and subscribe.